an accounting firm. They did work for you? Yes. Did you pay them? Yes. That couldn't keep their own books straight? I don't believe that's correct. Who did you write the check to? To you. They say there's an unpaid bill of $2,288. I understand. That's what they say. If anything, they were negligent and non-responsible to me as a client. But we, we did all this work. Evidently not satisfactorily. Judge Judy. Ms. Burns, according to what I read in your complaint, you bought someone's accounting firm. My mentor, um, Mr. Behar, and I purchased a friend of ours accounting firm. Okay. And this was a client of that firm's? It was, yes. And you stayed on, did some business for him and want to be paid. That's what your claim is about. He's got a counterclaim. He says that you didn't know what the hell you were doing and you caused damage to his business. That's your counterclaim? Yes. Perfect. So, Mr. Wallach, how long had you been with the previous firm? Approximately 25 years. And this was a CPA firm? She was not a CPA. She was an accountant. What kind of work did she do for you? Payroll for the business. She paid all my taxes, EDD. She did complete accounting of my business. Okay. And what, Ms. Byron's training do you have? I'm an enrolled agent. I'm enrolled to practice before the Internal Revenue Service. What training did you have? So I started, when I went to college, I have a bachelor's. I started in accounting. Just a second. Do you have a bachelor's in accounting? No, I do not. What do you have a bachelor's degree in? It's a Bachelor of Arts in Business Administration with a management emphasis. And when did you graduate from school? I graduated in December of 2000. 2007. What kind of work did you do after that? I worked for a large healthcare technology company doing product support, helping healthcare providers submit their claims electronic and receive payment okay. electronic. Okay. I also not accounting. No, but during that time I had met Mr. Behar before I graduated during a summer job and he's an enrolled agent and I started working for him part time. I also grew up my parents are accountants and I grew up learning about it. Just for my own information, when you took over this accounting firm. Did you tell Mr. Wallach or any of the other clients about your experience? Did you put out a letter? We did. I'd so like to see the letter that you I put don't out. have the letter and um Do you remember what information you were provided about Miss Burns? No information. So why did you stay? Because they worked with my late accountant and they had all the paperwork and but, they were knowledgeable from what I thought of doing the accounting. But you didn't do any due diligence about them. I mean, I have an accountant. I've been with an accountant for well over 40 years. If somebody took over his firm, I don't know whether I would stay with them. I'd say, well, tell me about you. Well, they were doing work for the old accountant I off and on, and she recommended them. Fine. So, and you accepted that? Yes. Okay. And they did work for you? Yes. Did you pay them? Yes. Okay. They say there's an unpaid bill of $2,288. That's what this case is about. I understand. That's what they say but I don't feel I owe them anything. If anything, they were negligent and non-responsible to me as a client, and they cost me severe penalties, delinquency charges. They increased their fees without even letting me know prior from the other accountant. Just they a second, wait, wait, just one second. Part of what you're saying to me, Mr. Wallach, is you were dissatisfied with their service. If you're dissatisfied with any service, you pay for that service, and then you leave. If what you're telling me is that the fee structure changed without notifying you, that's a particular that I'll hear. Is that what you're alleging? No. Okay. That wasn't the cause of... Just a second. Here. Well, you mentioned that in your litany of lists. You said that they changed their fees without telling me. Am I mistaken? No, you're not, but that's not why I'm here, because of well, that. Well, then why do I have to know about it? You made a whole list of reasons why you didn't pay them. You have to pay them if they did work for you, you were not satisfied with the work, then you leave. They're not going to be responsible, sir, if for some reason your taxes went up. That's not their responsibility.